to infinity and beyond! Come from down though, right? All right, limits to infinity. Um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at, at special limits. When we have limits that are going to infinity or uh, limits as x approaches infinity or what happens when we have a limit as x approaches the number to infinity. So let's take a look at a, an example. We've got this graph here with uh, two horizontal asymptotes. And yes, we can cross a horizontal asymptote. It's what's happening outside and we'll talk about that in just a second. So what is the limit? Question is, what is the limit as x approaches zero from the left? So as x approaches zero from the left, zero from the left is here, right? So as x gets closer to zero, as x gets closer and closer to zero, as the x values get close to zero, what is happening to the y values? The y values are going straight up. They're going to infinity. The y values are going straight to positive infinity. As the x values get closer to zero from the right, so from the right this way, as I get closer to zero from the right, the, what are the y values doing? The y values are going down to negative infinity. Exactly where I came from right now. Negative infinity. From the last video, we know we've got one side limit. If the first one does not equal the second one, if the one from the left does not equal the one from the right, does not exist, right? So the limit as x approaches zero does not exist because the limits are going different ways. But even if it was, we could say it doesn't exist either because, uh, you know, the limit, if the limit as x approaches zero from the left of f of x equals infinity, then there's no limit, right? It goes on forever. There's no limit. So I could also say it does not exist, but uh, it's easier to understand if I write it this way. Okay, so then what about as x is going out to infinity or negative infinity? So what is the limit as x goes to negative infinity? As x gets larger and larger, more negative, goes all the way out that way, what is y getting closer and closer to? So we call this end behavior. End behavior is what is happening at the ends of the graph. All the way out that way, all the way out that way, what is the y value approaching? We can use this limit notation to let us know. So. As x goes all the way out to negative infinity, what is y doing? As x goes out and gets bigger and bigger, y is approaching negative 2. There's a horizontal asymptote. y is approaching negative 2. As x goes to infinity, goes all the way that way, it keeps going and going. What does y get closer to? As, y, as x keeps going, what does y get closer to? y gets closer to 2. So the limit as x approaches infinity, of f of x is 2. This is the end behavior. What is happening at the ends of the graph? So in general, when you're looking at these limits to infinity, this is really the idea that you can hone in on when you're looking for it. The vertical asymptotes will have limits as the limit as x approaches a, so some number in the middle of f of x, will likely be equal to positive or negative infinity. So if it's positive infinity, it's going straight up. If it's negative infinity, it's going down. But either way, you're going to have a vertical asymptote there. Horizontal asymptotes, that is usually the end behavior. So the end behavior is a horizontal asymptote. And that's the limit as x approaches either positive or negative infinity of f of x. That's going to be equal to a number. It's going to be equal to your horizontal asymptote. I say usually because sometimes we don't have a horizontal asymptote. It just goes on forever. In that case, this would also be infinity or positive, positive or negative infinity. So um, a horizontal asymptote, the limit as x approaches infinity or negative infinity. Vertical asymptote, the limit as x approaches a number is going to be equal to negative infinity or positive infinity. Okay? So um, we'll take a look at one more problem um, just graphically and we'll label these things and we'll say, talk about the end behavior and then this will be it. This will be a short video. Bye. Okay, here we go, folks. Uh, we got one of, uh, well, look, look at how gorgeous that is. Look at those asymptotes on that function. Let's get going, and let's figure out these limits given these vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Um, so let's, uh, let's do these first, okay? Actually, let's do the end behavior first, because we're talking about end behavior. We want to know about end behavior. 
Um, end behavior is, again, the horizontal asymptotes. But remember, if there are no horizontal asymptotes, then your end behavior is likely going to be negative or positive infinity because it's just going to go up forever or go down forever. Okay, I got, oh, I got a fly in my face. Sorry about that, guys. If I go like this, it's because there's a fly, not because, you know, I say you can't, you can't see me like John Cena. Um, so limit as x approaches negative infinity. So as x goes out to negative infinity, y is going to, what's the horizontal asymptote? Negative 3. All right, so there's my part of my end behavior. The second part of my end behavior is x goes to positive infinity. What does y approach? Positive 3. Boom. Okay. Boom again. <laughs> Got that down. All right. What about these guys? Now, notice here that I left them blank because I want you to notice what those vertical asymptotes are and how those, um, those limits work with those. So let's look at the first vertical asymptote. The first vertical asymptote is negative 1. The limit as x approaches, what should x approach here to make my asymptote negative 1? It should approach, okay, as x approaches, it should be negative 1 here, right? As I approach it from the left, so a little negative here, that's going to go up to positive infinity. What should this one be? Well, I'm still doing negative 1, so I'm approaching negative 1, but this time I'm approaching from the right. And as I approach from the right, it's going to go down to negative infinity. Limit as x approaches positive 1 from the left goes to positive infinity. And the limit as x approaches positive 1 from the right goes to negative infinity. Oops, <laughs> negative infinity. All right, so there we go. Limits to infinity, guys. Um, bonus, if you're in my class, and you can tell me whether that function is even or odd. Um, I will give you extra credit, but hey, it's only it's the first five people to come see me in the morning on um, the day after this video goes up, okay? So the first five people to come tell me, or if you see this video early, the first five students in my pre-calculus class to tell me whether that graph right there is even or odd, get an extra credit, okay? So, boom, limits, bye.